I want to speak something. Okay. See here, I have a scenario. Okay. Where uh, the scenario is also somewhere we written it. Okay. Give me one second. I don't have time to write it now. So. Okay. There is the script mask. I do the script. We use, we used like uh, the last login is. Yes, ma'am. Before yeah. three. So the script is <laughs> like. Okay. First. The script is there. Okay. What is the script purpose? Is we have a users where if we feel like the the users are not logged into the system for more than we we initially thought like okay one year or somewhere six months. But in my instance, that records are not there. So I took it for three months. If they didn't log into the system for three months, we feel like they are inactive users. We will make them inactive. Right? Yes or no? Everyone? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sir. Now, this is the server side script. So now what I did is, okay, I want to run initially on the instance. So what? How many are there on that particular moment? I want to clear them. So what? I, what concept I take ma to execute this particular? Script? Execute now. Execute now. I think. Okay, so that is the right answer. So copy this one. Copy this one in a script include. Sorry, copy this one in a schedule job. Okay, and then schedule it however you want to schedule. And then on that time, if you want to run it, just to run it with execute now. Okay, this is one way, and you can schedule it from on that day onwards. Next period, it will take it. It next cycle. Also, I can simply run the same thing in background script also. Correct. Yes or no? So I can run one time in the background script and second time I can keep it in schedule job and then schedule it. The execute now is also kind of background script. Yes. Either one. It, correct. This one we see in it. Everyone agree? Please acknowledge me. We are running behind the time. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now fix the script. Okay. I want to see here schedule job is like a cycle. Okay, it is there in the system. It will run. Okay, but background script. If I refresh the page, will it be there? No, it will not be there. It will erase it. Correct? You just copy yes. it, run it, and then if you just go out of the page, it will not save in the records. Okay, but fix script is something like. Okay, you write the same thing. Okay, and it will save in the update set. Okay. If you load this one, na, so will not create update set when it is false. So if you check this one and then create one fixed script and then copy the same script here, okay, this record will save in the where is that? Ma? This record will save in the where update set. You can move it to different places. Script is same, but you are capturing as a record and you can move to different thing and it is there. In this particular database, in the service node database, you can run it whenever you want it. This is the first thing. Clear? Now the same script. Okay, you are keeping in a different place so that it's it started capturing in an update set, and you have it whenever you want to run it. You can go and run it. First thing is that clear? Yes. yes okay. Yeah. Second thing is background yeah. script, no? If you run it script, if if you run it a background script, okay, it runs in the background. You don't have any proper way to track it until and unless you keep some GS dot print and something. We seen it so many times, right? But fix the script now. It will give you a kind of uh, record where what are the things are happened. Okay, that is the another advantage. That's it. Fix the script, background script. If you want to see in a lighter way. Okay, it says same kind of thing, but background script runs one time. We use background script to run one time execution. Fix time, fix script. Now I created one. I go here and then see my fix script. Open it and then run it whenever I want to run. It also runs whenever you want. We want to run, but it, not. It runs whenever we want to run. We need to come here and then run. That's it. It's also one time. One time. But yeah. you have it. You don't need to write it again. That's what the main simple thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It capturing in update set. In the update set, where okay. schedule the C here. If you go to schedule job, now schedule job also you have execute now. 
execute now fix script both are same correct you can go to schedule job okay run it run now that is also equal to fix script is that correct statement yes sir okay then why we need to fix the script because schedule job don't capture in the update set fix script can be stored in the update set <laughs> the way you use is different got it sir yeah there is nothing okay. different so okay, everything the same script you, you, uh, sir yes, sir? Please, i like to ask for example i don't understand that schedule job is not always captured in an update set yes. but is it recommended because i do know that sometimes you can actually force updates um schedule jobs in an update set is it being, is it recommended it is recommended yes if it is see generally schedule jobs don't store in update sets but we take it as an xml and then load it into production from dev to test via xml we load it and from text to, uh, from test to prod via xml we load it is that answer to your question yes sir. so it's it's a best practice it we can best, use no, is that correct it's not like best practice it is our need you need to schedule something to repetitively run that is the only option oh, okay. you have it correct every monday morning you want to run some yeah. job okay if schedule job option mm -hmm. is not there then how you take care of it you go monday morning you keep an alarm and then run the script and then sleep <laughs> right that is it morning 2 am 1 am of business hours so yes i answered your question correct thank you sir yes sir yeah so see ma this particular one i will share okay here uh, every time i am seeing one one okay there is one one thing i seen where they given a kind of a kind of uh, a table in the table they mention about all these differences okay maybe i'll try to copy that you can see it okay yeah this one okay so see they given very very nicely okay somewhere the table is also there and also there are so many other things also there okay background script will give you like this but fix script there is an option where you can see the results in kind of this one okay so the, it will give more more details okay when you run it in fix script okay and uh, this simple thing you can keep it okay run in the background fix script service background script which one run in the background background saved in the update set no rollback option is there for both of them in the background script also you have rollback here also you have rollback okay but in the fix script these and all not there but here it is and all not there. it is there okay sir please give please give this link i am giving Not, sir. okay so please go through it and don't stress more okay if you don't understand how much you understood keep till that point only because fix script very very rarely we will use okay so these two are more than enough for our uh, main thing but for interviews just to cover this part but there is something called when you run a script okay in the background script maybe after you are started running it na let's say you have a background script you are running it okay so that time you observe like your screen will be freezed you observe it till the time it completes your screen will freeze yes sir okay but if you run the same thing in a schedule job na you don't feel that you observed it okay why because if you go and see okay client transactions okay background script will run with your account your user account but schedule jobs will run with system account okay so there is a difference between user account and system transactions transactions stand spelling ma transaction tran a n t r a n s s yes. okay. c s e c, -S -E -C very good okay so yeah transactions so here you may see in live environment these are not little advanced ma okay for if you are not understanding now please ignore it okay see here here you see admin so this action something some action is running with the current logged in user okay but if you run a schedule job now you see another node here saying one more job and you see system okay if you run another background script now again you see admin so if it is running with a user account it the user account see other actions will not until this particular transaction complete okay it may freeze your instance but if you run it with a system account now you don't see any disturbance okay 
So precisely, background script will run with user account. Okay, fixed script scheduled jobs will run with system account. That's it. Okay. 